Hi guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are not gonna learn with the code and just we are gonna learn how we can create a APK file from the React Native code. So let's get started with that. So I would like to go on the browser first of all and write here sign APK React Native so here is a link you can find that sign signed apk from android so just go here and copy this line don't you don't need to read all the uh, bullshit stuffs just 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 follow me some easy instructions and copy this code first of all and go to your uh, project and just paste it and enter it so now it will ask you some question like just put your password so you can put your password within the sixth character like I'm going to like my and it'll see it will ask for gent password fine so what use first name uh, first and last name so this is anil Sito. Uh, organization name so what I have to put here I don't have an organization for now unit so just you can put there mm -mm. shoot you video that's fine fine mm -mm. now organization name YouTube tutorial oops fine so city name my city name is Gurgaon if you belong to India you definitely know that and um, state Haryana my country is India correct yes just just give the yes so return if uh, same as keyshot password yes I want to put the same password here so just enter it so now just go to the your projects oops I just opened the wrong project here so go to the same project uh, uh, try push so now you can see that here a file which is key generate file is uh, may my release key dot key store file actually this is the encoded file so you are not able to see this code but you have to copy this file from here uh, just try push go to here and copy from you can cut from here you don't need to uh, this file here and paste it in android and app that's fine now just go back to the browser and just go to the android.gradle properties okay so android and where is gradle gradle properties is it is it i don't think so no this is right this is the correct file i think so just put here and put the password and you can see the my application password here Mm -mm, my Anil Sito and this is uh, my same password of the release key okay this is also done now we are around uh, around the last step so go to the android app and build.gradle android app and build.gradle and here you will find some good stuff so go to the android object and just copy this which is the signing configuration configs and put it from the default settings just below here just like that all right now okay so there is a build type yeah build type just put one line in the build type release 
just put it below sometime it's not work oops I think I copied something wrong okay that's fine uh, now everything is fine yeah and just use this command mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now you can see that we will got the apk file within 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 some moments so i'm going not i'm not going to pause this video just it will take some time maybe one to one or two minutes so yeah one more way you can put the you can create the dot apk file you can go go to the android studio and go to the build and now you can generate the sign in apk and after that you can put the same thing which we fill in the command prompt and just after that you have to follow the same commands mm -mm. from step 2 so I always like to work with the command lines so that's why I'll show you in the command lines so building 84% and this is the app dot bundle release js and assets blah 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 so let's pause this video uh, it may take some time and it will be waste your time so I'm going to save your time so say thanks me. yeah so we are around the 96% so I want to show you back that we are continue okay it will take just two minute and 19 seconds and 7.4 microseconds also so you will find here go to your android then app then build then output and then apk and then you will find your app release dot apk and this is purely able to installable in your phone so just copy it from your laptop and uh, you can easily install it in your phone so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel give a thumbs up on the video and if you have any suggestion or any demanding video then please comment on us and you can find our facebook link in your description so you can put the directly questions on our facebook page so thanks guys thanks for watching this video bye bye take care